this on the Mayflower pattern test for Amelia Designs on Instagram. Um, I need to eat something and then go out because I need to get my passport photo taken and then I'm gonna hang out with my boyfriend. So I'm gonna stop working on this for now and get ready to go. I'll stab it at the bus stop. Vincent Laboterie. I don't even know if you can hear me because we're outside. Probably can. Why are you walking like that? shot he's so cute this is how my millefleur pattern test is looking um actually it's really fun the stitch i already memorized the lace pattern so i'm just working up the panel i think this is the back panel and this is my first ball of yarn so i'm just going to crochet until i finish this because it's midnight and i'm kind of tired so yeah I'm going to finish this and then go to bed. I got pretty close to the end of this row. There's a mistake. <laughs> there's only supposed to be two puff stitches, but there's three. This is how much yarn I have left. I have to frog it. I have to frog back all the way to the start of the previous row. to undo all of this and all the way back to here I did it doesn't really look like a lot of yarn but actually oh my god never mind I just finished one whole ball of the yarn I think it's like 50 grams 160 meters yeah, I just finished. Actually, it got me pretty far. I have four, or I had four balls total. I have three left because I just used one. But it'll definitely be enough for this top. I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm tired. I'm making macarons, but I have to wait for them to sit to form the skin on top before I bake them, so I'm going to crochet. I'm gonna work on this verglas sweater because it's a commission and I need to get it done before the end of the month. I think it's the, it's the 18th today. This, I started the sleeve. So, this is the first sleeve. I already finished the body part. Both panels are done and they're attached at the shoulders already. So I need to finish the sleeves and attach them. So the sides and then do the collar and then it's done. So this is actually one full ball of Pound of Love by Lion Brand. So I'm gonna use the second one. I think I'm gonna turn it into cakes because I didn't when I was working on this, but I really like working with cakes. So I'm just going to turn this into a cake and then I'll attach it to this. Bro, every time I try to take out the center of these like huge balls, I get like this massive yarn barf this is not so bad i had one time i pulled it out and i literally had a meltdown but like how am i supposed to find the inside without it becoming a mess like what is this anyway just oh it's so annoying
baking my macarons, but the one on the bottom right is cracking. <laughs> I finished making my macarons, but this one is like busted on both sides. And there's so much filling, because I accidentally made so much buttercream. This one doesn't have another sh shell to make a sandwich. And also, it's like messed up. I make macarons pretty often, but like, I still don't have it like perfected because the shells are hollow. Like here you can see, it, there's just air between it. I think it's because it's over mixed. But then when I under mix it, it comes, anyway, when I mix it less, it comes out weird. So I just do it like this. It's fine, they still taste good. It's just sugar. <laughs> so yeah, sugar and almond flour. But anyway, I love making macarons. And honestly, they're not super hard. Okay, they're hard because I haven't made them perfectly yet. But like, just if you want the taste of it, it's fine. I, I like them. So yeah, they, they don't look the best. But wait, I'm trying to find a good one to show you guys. Because there was one time I made like a really good batch. And that probably will never happen again. But I can't find a good one. I guess because there's no good one. But yeah, I made macarons. Just ignore that <laughs> busted one. They look pretty good. I'm gonna work on the Verglas water commission and then just watch YouTube I'm watching Jenna Phipps. And maybe I'll edit some videos later, but it's already 10.30, so I'll probably just work on this and go to bed. I just uh, finished the sleeve and it attached it to the body. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. I did one less, like, set of this design. Like, one less set of this pattern. Because, uh, my friend's mom asked me to make it a bit shorter than the one I made for my mom. So I thought I should also maybe make the sleeve a tiny bit shorter, just because, uh, on mine, and my mom's the sleeves i think are six of these like oh my god six of these like stitch designs uh long but it's kind of like when i wore mine it's kind of long <laughs> i don't really know what i'm saying it like passes my wrist and like my hand kind of so i feel like um a bit shorter would be nicer and it'll probably stretch too uh, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it's good. I'm going to start the second sleeve But I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight. Maybe I'll try to finish it tomorrow But tomorrow I want to film a video that I want to post next Friday. I Don't know when this video will come out. Maybe in like honestly, maybe in like three weeks from now So yeah, I'm gonna do Start the second sleeve and then probably go to bed I just finished filming a video of everything or plans I have for 2024 knit and crochet. Um, I just wanted to share. That's my setup. You're on a bunch of boxes and books and this really old kind of broken tripod that my mom got a long time ago. I don't even know where it's from. And uh, I, was I w was supposed to work on this while I spoke, but I kind of didn't. But that's, that's fine. And there's a mistake, so I have to frog this and go back, which sucks. But... These were like my plans. Hello. These are my plans for the year so far. It's only January, so who knows. And then uh, this was my timer. I thought I'd share this too. For My screen is so dusty. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, this is my timer for the commission. I just decided to time myself to see how long it actually takes me. I guess technically the green is the worst and the red is the best because that just means I did less work in a day so every lap is like one day of progress so i've been i'm on my 11th day working on this not like 11th consecutive day but 11th day of working on it only done 15 minutes barely actually i've done more i just because i forgot to hit the timer when i was recording but yeah so i'm 13 hours in to the sweater and it's almost done just have to finish the sleeve which is basically halfway done I have to frog it though, so a little less than halfway done. Then attach it to the body, sew up the sides, and add the collar. And then it'll be done. Yeah, 
so I have some like yarn here but uh, I just filmed a video now I have to get ready and go out even though it's so cold today because um, uh, I have to go out because I need to get my passport done which is something I've been procrastinating for such a long time so I, I really need to just go get it done uh, I'm gonna go do that and I have to go to the post office because I sent out a package like an order I sent out an order for a cat hat three weeks ago two weeks ago January 3rd it's January 19th now and it should have arrived already but it still says that it's in transit and it said that it was like the last update I have on the tracking is from the post office I dropped it off at so I'm gonna go ask them about that and then I'm gonna go do my passport so that's my plan for today uh, I'm actually I feel productive because I didn't wake up at like 12 today I got up at 10 which is not that much better but it's still better than waking up at 12 I filmed a video today I'm going to go ask the post office what happened to the package and then I'm gonna go get my passport done but I want to make one of those little star pillows with it because I, I really like stars and I think that that I'm wearing my big jacket today because it's so cold my big expensive jacket Wait, I don't want to put them on my bed. I'll just put them on my bed. These are the socks I got. Wait, <laughs> I can't hold it. I got these socks. These have snails on them. Ew, stop. It has a little smiley face. And these ones are just cream and red. Wow, socks. Thank <laughs> you.